definitely not traditional. He succeeded with that. What's up YouTube, Salvoji here and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we have a request from Will over on Patreon. Thanks for supporting the channel, Will, and giving us this request here. The song is called Sadness. The band or group is called Enigma. What I don't understand is the version that Will sent me is seven minutes and a half, basically. However, the version from their official YouTube page is four minutes. And then I'm going over on the wiki page, right? Here's the album called MCMX. C A D, and this was released in 1990, by the way. If I go down to the songs here, so it looks like this is a part of Principles of Lust, which is 11 minutes and 43 seconds. And if you look at that, it says Principles of Lust is a multi part song consisting of two versions of sadness with fine love in between, which is right here. So, am I getting the two parts? Am I listening to A and C here? When I'm on this page right here that's seven minutes long, am I listening to A and C? Perhaps. But it doesn't give me the exact length of either of them, so I'm not quite sure. Well, it does for... Actually, it does for this one. Four minutes and 16. I don't know. Somebody let me know. Clarify that down below, because I'm just going to... I'm going to go with the version that Will sent me. I'm just not sure exactly what the seven minutes and 33 seconds consists of. Anyways, Enigma is a German musical project founded in 1990 by Romanian German musician and producer Michael Cretu. All right, so he recorded his first Enigma studio album in 1990 with contributions from David Fairstein and Frank Peterson. This remains their most successful album, helped by the international hit single Sadness, which sold 12 million units alone. That's insane. 12 million units alone. According to Kurtu, the inspiration for the creation of the project came from his desire to make a kind of music that did not obey the rules and habits and presented a new form of artistic expression with mystic and experimental components. Yes, please. That would be great. Down tempo, electronic, and new age world beat, experimental, all really cool things. Again, this song right here, and there is a there's a thing going on here. Before that, actually, this this was an international hit. It reached number one in 14 countries. This is massive. Peaked at number five on the Hot 100, number one on the Dance Club Play and 12 Inch Singles sales chart. It is a sensual track based around questioning the sexual desires of Marquis de Side. Said? Don't know. Tried. I'm bad with names. The track reached number one faster than any new release in German history before its video clip had even been finished. Gotcha. There are Gregorian vocals. Will did mention, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this. It was banned on certain radio stations for that reason. People thought it was like satan satanic or something. Anyway, and really quickly, I'm gonna show my movie channel. Link down below in the description. I just released National Lampoon's Vacation. The reaction to that yesterday. So go check that out. Okay, here we go. Oh. 
unique. Succeeded with that. Down temple thing. I mess with that. <laughs> I mess with that heavily. Electronic music that features an atmospheric sound and slower beats. Typically found in dance. Mmm. Fire. Wow. So that was a bunch of things, right? Most notably, 
sensual, atmospheric, evocative, mystical, very mystical. That's just a few things to describe it. Dreamy. The chanting and all the different sounds in there give it a unique texture and depth for sure. Were those horses? So there's, he, what did they say here? He wanted to make something that was non-traditional, you know, it's like, um, ah, no, let me go back to the page. Did not obey the rules and habits. Well, you did that here. I think the lady is speaking or whispering, I should say in French. That's my guess. Adding some more sensuality to it. It already was. When I picture this song or when I hear this song and I, I just picture like, you know, those people are learning those Euro, those like Euro dance clubs, right? And they're like, yeah, they got on like sexy clothes and the lights are just flashing, but not fast because the song is slow, right? And they're just sweating and like the camera's like doing these angles where it's like slow motion around them and like, I don't know, like distorts, like colors will flash. It's like, you just feel like you're in a different freaking like, you're watching just something out of like a, uh, somebody that's high, basically. <laughs> you know, like a trip. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> you almost, you can picture it. You can just picture it. You hear this and you're like, yeah, I, I kind of get that. But on those Gregorian chants, those were pretty trippy. That definitely adds to the mystical sound, I think. Kind of dreamy. It's like, what's the word? Hyp hypnotic. Kind of hypnotic. Definitely adds to that sort of landscape that the song is putting you in. It's it's wide. It's it's definitely a wide soundscape here there's a lots of different things going on but i do like the idea of down tempo i think that's kind of compelling i'm interested in that for sure i i want to meditate now mainly um yeah <laughs> mainly but it was just a very powerful song it's interesting the yeah, this is uh, not something that I that I've heard before, you know. So that's always something that's gonna pull me in. But anyways, well, let me know what you guys think of this one down below in the comments. Interesting choice from Will. I gotta say, yeah, to this one, I I just really liked it. That was nice, very relaxing. All right, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to go check out the movie channel in the description. I would appreciate some support over there. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next one. In the next one. Boop, boop. Bye. Yeah, time to go to bed.